Uh, hi YouTube, it's Kaji Maru here, and you know, I'm driving, this is another drive vlog, uh, so, no it really grabs my gears when I'm, uh, playing League and Overwatch, there is that one person who has a bitch about, well, this is, I'm sorry about saying that word, but, uh, there's always gotta be that one person that has to complain about one person not doing, doing something right. Or something's not going right in the comp. In the comp, but you already know the comp's already bad. Like, so let's say in league, everyone on your team, like your top lane and your jungler, are not tanks, All right? And since I'm support, of course I'm gonna have to either go tank or someone who has a lot of CC because I can't. We have to do something about. How are we gonna stop their damage? We we can either blow them up or we, someone has to go tank. Well, that's one that one thing that grabs my gear about about those type of games. That's probably Overwatch the most because oh we need a tank. Oh yeah we do we need a tank. Oh can we get one more tank? And now a heal. You don't need a heal. Like you don't need to have an extra tank. You don't need to be an asshole about having that one extra tank. If you if you want to heal, or if you got heal on a, like if healing is not a matter of do we need it, it's a matter on what what does our comp need. If you think we need a healer, go healer. But like, that's all it is. And yes, I'm being a stereotypical. Uh, oh, he's a Hanzo man, and he and he's complaining about team comp. Of course, I'm gonna complain about team comp. If it depend if we really need a fucking healer, you go that fucking healer if you really think we need it. I'm not complaining about it. Like when I'm playing, I don't complain about. It. I'm playing my character. I'm playing the characters I know how to play. But if if I see that we need a comp, a better comp, I will switch. I'm not gonna complain about it. But for League, I can't do that. I can't just oh, I might go like that and I'm and I'm nar out of nowhere. No, you can't do that in League. So that's that's why it grinds my gears. Because people are complaining about comp. It's it's not a matter of whether or not you are good with that character. It's a matter of whether or not you're good with the comp. Because you can be good with the character, and you can have no, you can have like a really bad comp, and, and but all the players are good with their characters, and they know what they're doing. And then that comp, and then your comp, and then whatever comp you guys have, you guys can synergize with whatever you have. That's no problem. But then when you get that one support, who's like, oh, I'm just gonna. Go we, I'm going to go this character, and he's and this is for League. I'm sorry if I'm not pointing it out correctly. This is for League. Oh, I'm going to go this one character because of the fact that I'm good with that character. Well, here's the here's what the cop looks like. You got a you got a vein ADC at or vein top. You got a Graves jungle. <laughs> yeah, I'm going, I'm making this really like like you can get an idea what it, it kind of it's going to look like. You got a, uh, well not, well you kind of do have like that squishy mid character, uh, I, w I was going to say Vigar, but yeah, a, squish a squishy mid character, let's say it's an assassin like Talon, you know Talon's amazing right now, uh, you got, and then your ADC is uh, Ash. Out of those, and then you pick a support, your job as support is to build what we, to have what we need. Our comp is an ECC. We have that from Ash. We have that from freaking whoever's in mid. Well, we don't have it from Talon, but you know what I'm saying. We have that from whoever's in mid and their thing. Uh, we have a vein top which take care of the the peel. And you have a great jungle who's who's and the jungle is fine. The jungle is really fine. All right, but you as support, you have to make the decision of. Do we need a character like this? Do we need a character like that? But that goes for top two because top, it depends on their pick, on their pick slot. Yes, for solo queue, but you you can have in solo queue you you can have someone who's willing to trade with you in solo queue. Like, oh, can you get me this character and I'll give you this character? Yeah, you can do that, and then that and they'll explain the comp. But when your comp says specific, when your comp specifically shows that you are last pick, and you're either top jungle or support 
you gotta make those those picks where can you carry them if you don't pick a tank uh can you or do we need a tank in this comp or for supports do i need to be a healer those are those are situational picks but those are really crucial top jungle and um like all lanes are important in league right but top jungle and your support they all set up the they all set up the place mid falls has to follow through with damage adc has to follow through with kills if they're not farming if they're not farming that well because god forbid i don't get 300 farm as gin <laughs> god damn but still don't complain about comps look at the comp see what you can see what you can fit in see what you you know how to play and see if they fit in that position for if you're playing support tank does this character have cc yes does this character go well with anyone if so pick that character so like malfa he has cc he has a knockup that's good he's a tank that's a good support that's a good tank support uh thresh obviously he's a good tank support blitz probably one of the most annoying supports but still one of the strongest still one of the best tanks for that lane for all I care, you can go old school. J4. <laughs> yeah, J4 support. That's a thing. Pretty much bot lane. You can go any comp as long as you know what you're doing. That NF support shit, they knew what they're doing when they did that. Because they're for the pros. They know what to do as pros. But as us people in solo queue and you're low level like I am right now, you know, like bronze, like let's say gold to bronze because you guys haven't hit if you haven't hit platinum or if you haven't like been anywhere near platinum you are still you're it, it rank doesn't matter at that point you can be called a boosted monkey you can be boosted up to gold it's not that hard you just gotta have a have like one guy boost you like one of your friends who's who's obviously on a smurf account and just boosts you up to gold uh you can have uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, you can have uh, a friend. Oh, well, you can always do the one thing that, that gets you banned, but you don't. Oh, God. That one's not looking. Uh, anyways. As I was saying. Uh, but yeah, you can have a uh, person who's. Yeah, like I said, a Smurf can, can boost you up into gold. It's not that. It really isn't that. Uh, hard to do if you have the right pe if you have a friend who's in hot who knows how to play the game and they can just boost you and carry you throughout the game until you hit platinum and up uh you are not good <laughs> that's that's the rule until you hit platinum and up you are not good that that's that's how it is that's how it is with league you're not good if you don't hit platinum uh because you're because anywhere under platinum you are shit and I would agree with that. I'm shit. Okay, I'm 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 been stuck in bronze and silver. I've all, I almost made the gold just by supporting, and that's because I had a good ADC. Okay, but like I said, it's up to you to make those critical decisions if you're gonna play top jungle and support. If you guys had the right comp, but you're but someone's not doing their job correctly. Then oh well, someone didn't do their their job correctly. If you're an ADC at the point at this, like in this season, in order to be considered good, you have to consistently get at the least 250, 250 farm, at the least. Okay, and and that's that's at least at 30 minutes I think, not 250 farm, but uh, 200 farm at 30 minutes to be considered decent 250 being considered amazing but anyways you can't get you can't do that with Jin. Jin well you can I've seen pros do it but you, at low level yeah you can't do that because you got you got so many different variables happening uh, is your support protecting you uh, are they gonna go in on you you gotta you gotta watch watch how, how they play and adjust because you don't in broad and like low tier you don't fight the same people you fight a whole bunch of different people. 
that's the thing. That's the thing with League. You, if you're low level, you fight a whole bunch of variety of people. You can't even do anything to learn how to fight against them. Because eventually, you're not even going to run into them. But, yeah. It grinds my gears to see that people are who... And then, the last thing that grinds my gears... So, ADC's complaining that I'm not landing a skill shot. He obviously sees that he's fighting a vein. And a good vein at that. Like, a diamond tier vein. Like, I ran into a diamond tier vein as a support lux. And we had a Jin ADC. Yeah, we're not landing shit on her. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm gonna feed. It's a dual bot, diamond tier vein. Yeah, how the hell am I gonna land a fucking a fucking skill shot? Let alone let you. How the hell are you gonna land something on a fucking diamond as Jin? A diamond vein is scary as fuck. <laughs> like, you don't fight that shit very often. You're not ready for it. Like, it's that scary. Like, so don't yell if you see that the person's very good. Like, they're dodging the skill shots as Vayne. Then, don't say shit about your support. Don't say shit about anyone. You are fighting a diamond. You are fighting, or a, a fucking good ass person. Who deserves to be diamond. Or who deserves to be whatever rank they are. They're in. Because you know what? Fighting someone high high rank gives you a gauge of how how much you have to learn, or how much you have to see you have, till you can actually catch them off or actually read them. Okay, I like fighting those stuff. Too bad there's not a lot of people in rank who are that good. Like, I it's it's like a fighting game for me. League of Legends, like playing against high level people, is like fighting against me. Like, high skilled people. I, it gives me a challenge. It makes me want to play. It makes me want to play. But if I'm getting yelled at by my teammate to tell me, "Oh, you're you suck. You you're not landing your skill shots." Um, excuse me. Like I said, but yeah, that ruins the game for me. That ruins the fun. Like, don't get mad. It's a game. You're gonna run into those people who are really good at the game, and you're gonna run into those people who are really bad at the game. Yes, I may have missed my skill shots, but I've landed a few enough that you could have followed through. Did they follow through? Who knows? Right? Who knows? It's all about okay, are they paying attention? Like I'm and then I I get caught out. I know one I know when I was playing that Lux game, my Lux game against a, a diamond vein. I got caught out because I was warding. Did he come up? Did he bother to like at least like distract them for a bit? Nope. Like they warded. They did all their job. They knew I was out. But did they come in did but did they even attempt? Nope. Did our jungler even attempt to even like gank? No. But anyways, yeah, grinds my gears when I see people. But yeah, it grinds my gears when it when I see people just laying on me, yelling at me when we were fighting a really a person who's really good at the game. Like it, it ruins the game for me. It makes me want to just say shut the fuck up. It makes me want you know say all the all the nasty stuff, all the toxic stuff, just because they're yelling at me. What? Like yeah, I yell, but I don't yell, yell like as in like I don't type it in chat to make so to make sure they see it. I yell, like I yell at myself because I missed the skill shot, I missed a, or I missed a combo that I knew how how to do. Like that's like that's that's how you learn. That's how you learn. But still, don't don't if your teammate's doing bad, you either ask him are we you either ask him are you gonna land? You ask them nicely. To like to explain what's going on or to explain why. Like gold bron gold to bronze I can handle. Because I've been I've been around that range when I'm supporting. But dime but platinum up that's gonna be a different story. Cause that's hard. Like that is can I fucking land a skill shot on you without you dodging it? Or without you doing all these advanced techniques that I haven't learned yet? But yeah. Don't yell Don't yell at your supports on fucking League, please. And thank you. And have a nice night. This has been Kanji Mario, and I'm signing out.